Nobody plans to ruin their lives. Nobody makes it a goal or walks into his life ambition to mess up their lives. Good parents don't teach their children to go into drugs. Kids don't plan to grow up to become alcoholics. Most girls don't make it their life ambition to become prostitutes. Couples do not go into marriage hoping it will fail. Nobody plans to ruin their lives, but it happens anyway. By the choices and decisions one makes through the years, ruining one's life becomes almost inevitable. As the noise in the world increases, no thanks to social media, countless young people are joining the spree of people who are doing stupid things to ruin their lives. You may not have ruined your life, but there are stupid things you must watch out for as a young person, so you don't ruin your life. These kinds of stuff are silly things that young people do. One, they live for immediate gratification. Nothing worthwhile comes immediately. Great things take a while to happen. If you choose to have today what you should have tomorrow, you may appear smart, but time will tell you that you aren't. You don't become great overnight. You don't write your best book, get in good shape, lose weight, become a successful Olympic athlete in one day. It takes time. Those who are willing to sacrifice time to build something great always eventually have the greatness they desire. Do you want to have a great marriage or just have a great one night stand? Do you want to have a successful business in 12 years or drive the most luxurious car only for 12 months? Do you want to own the most expensive wristwatch on campus now or you want to own the best business in the world in 15 years? You can choose to eat your future now or sow into your future. You can choose to play now and pay later or pay now and play later. It's your choice. 2. They believe ideas do not have consequences. A Florida teenager filming himself driving like an idiot gets into a car accident involving four other vehicles. He gets seriously injured and while in the hospital, he uploaded the video of him crashing to YouTube which helped police arrest him for reckless driving. Most young people think they can get away with what they do. Their actions do not have consequences. At this moment, you are in the process of becoming something. You are on a path to becoming a better employee, a better spouse or an awesome entrepreneur. You may be going along this path or you may be going the other way, but you are indeed preparing for a future which you will undoubtedly get. Yet, you may not reap where you sow, but you will certainly reap what you sow. And sadly, what you reap is always greater than what you sow. 3. They live outside their means Many adults today are still paying for their bad financial decisions in the past. When you enjoy so much instant gratification today, you are equally killing your future. You are taking from your retirement and are simply saying you will prefer to wallow in debt and financial mayhem when you grow older. You can enjoy living above your means, spending more than you earn now, but the money you didn't save or invest will never come to you in future. Buying things you don't need to impress people who don't need you to impress them may seem impressive now, but the future will tell you otherwise. As cliche as it may sound, you indeed cannot eat your cake and have it. Or they feed an addiction. Get off alcohol, stay clear of drugs, cut down on partying, take your education seriously, don't self-destruct with pornography, too many movies and TV shows will ruin your life. All these pieces of advice may seem like dung's worth tossing in the trash, but feeding an addiction is like choosing to pile up boatloads of dynamites under yourself. It may take a while, but soon, you will mistakenly light a match to tick off those bombs. Whether it is money, drugs, alcohol, pornography, etc. Most people are addicted to something. An addiction happens when you feed a thing. You do it severally and then it becomes an addiction. One last time may never be your last time. Stop now or you may find it difficult to break. 5. They run with fools. Show me your friends and I will tell you who you are. Bad company corrupts good manners. You are the average of the 5 people you surround yourself with. You will eventually become like the person you hang out with. If you are hanging out with fools, there is no escaping making foolish decisions. It may seem cool to hang out with friends who are going nowhere now, but who appear cool. Yet, 20 years from now, you can rest assured that most of those friends won't be with you, but their effects on you will remain. Better one good friend who positively impacts your life than a truckload of bad friends who have nothing good to contribute to your life. 6. They carelessly give their hearts away Should you fall in love as a young person, that's totally up to you. But if you commit your heart to everyone, you can be sure that you will continuously come down with a heartbreak. The best thing in your life is to give your heart to anyone who will jealously protect it and respect you. If they are willing to protect your heart, they will be ready to continue to do that by committing officially through marriage vows. Be careful who you allow into your heart. As Jonathan Pokluda of the Porch blog wrote, You may not be able to choose who you love, but you can choose who you let love grow with. 7. They accommodate evil 
a lie will never become true just because a majority believes the lie evil may be widely accepted it doesn't change the fact that it is evil it is so easy to tolerate evil or what's wrong because the social media raises about it it's so great to take selfies with dead bodies or set up a fight just for some social media craze yet it doesn't make an evil right kidnapping is on the rise sex trafficking is prevalent evil continues because those who are good continue to keep quiet if you don't learn to stand against evil you may one day have to stand alone with no one to stand up for you eight they make unimportant things important and important things unimportant if you were asked what is important to you you would say it is fast cars making more money watching more tv shows partying so hard with friends spending your weekend with the opposite sex or would you focus on what's important like living a better life giving up bad habits and embracing good ones developing yourself having a relationship with god valuing your relationship with friends and families there is nothing wrong with having a bit of fun that doesn't jeopardize your health and sanity but all is wrong when what matters to you is irrelevant to your future all is wrong when pleasure is far more important than building a life you will live to be thankful for in future nine they believe life is all about them you are important you are special you are unique but you are just one of the seven billion people who live in the world life doesn't revolve around you feeling like garlands and beautiful flowers should fall before you when you're working or that life should never hand you curve balls or you will sue the government is just a tad delusion coming from the thought that life owes you you are not a star of the world's show you came and will eventually go you will be forgotten and it is best to accept that it doesn't make you less important it just lets you know no one is indispensable as jonathan pokluda of the porch blog wrote people who become the biggest thing in their world are dysfunctional they have a skewed view they will always end up either disappointed or delusional and when they go their world disappears they don't actually leave any impact if this video inspired you subscribe to our channel we love you